Hello my lovelies and welcome to your June tarot reading with me Zoe the Quirky Coach. It's the last day of May here in Northwest England where I do my tarot readings and we have had the most amazing May weather. Don't know what it's like with you uh, wherever you are in the world but uh, apparently we've had the sunniest May since records began in the 19th century which I have to say has made what has been a challenging month for quite a lot of people. Um, obviously due to the coronavirus and the restrictions that that's imposed on us, um, it's made a challenging month a little bit easier to deal with. Um, there is something about the sunshine that brightens the spirits, isn't there? So who knows what we're going to get uh, for June weather-wise, but let's have a look and see what the cards have in store for us. And the first deck that I'm going to be using today is the Spirit Animal deck by Colette Baron reed uh, I love her oracle card decks and um, this Spirit Animal one is particularly delightful. So we're going to, up for, the, for this monthly reading, we'll be doing two oracle cards at the beginning to get some energy for the month. And we will also be doing two oracle cards at the end after the tarot itself. So, God, Spirit, the universe, angels and ancestors, what messages do we have for today for my lovely phoenixes? I've started a new group on Facebook called the um, Phoenix Rising Group. So all of you who are watching are now my phoenixes and we're all rising in this together. So what animal spirit do we have today? And the card we have is the turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. Now for those of you who are immediately going, oh no, it's been slow enough and steady enough over the last few months. That's really, really not what I want to hear at the moment. All I can say is, well, that's the energy that's come up. And I think the reason being is, you know, we're not going to be rushing anywhere just now. I mean, here in the UK, we are getting um, a little bit of an easing of restrictions as we go into June. But the energy here is about taking it steady. Don't undo some of the good that may have been done. And many of my um, readings often do relate to um, your life purpose, your work situation and the bigger picture. And um, for those of you who have been able to take some time out and reflect on what it is that you really want to be doing with your life and really want to be doing um, with your work, uh, this is about moving forward, but moving forward steadily. Uh, a bit sort of tortoise and hare kind of energy here. But also what I love is this is, this is uh, the turtle, this is the turtle swimming and it's swimming with the tide. I think we've had that uh, energy last month about moving and with the uh, new moon energy about moving forward in the, in the, steadily in the direction of where it is that you want to go. So we may have had some stagnation earlier on um, in the year, but this is definitely a feeling of moving forward, but not rushing. Some things you may be able to do a little bit quicker than you have, but generally speaking, overall energy, don't rush it. Now the second one is an energy card, and this is the Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. And I'll just see what energy we have. I have blessed the decks beforehand, and we'll now see what energy leaps out for us to support our slow and steady. So this is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Now, those of you who know your archangels um, will know that um, this, this, this here with, with this one, it's ruling your third eye. So this is all about your intuition. This is about trusting your intuition. Well, you know me, I go on about that an awful lot. Um, I uh, sort of I feel that we really, all of us need to learn to get much more in touch with our intuition, especially in these challenging times. So this is, if ever there was, this is an energy to trust, tap into your intuition. What is your gut telling you? What is your instincts telling you about what you want to achieve this month? So, it's much more about that gut instinct rather than um, perhaps trusting the logic of 
things it's about going with it's more than going with your heart though it's the, the, the gut instinct is stronger even than following our heart uh, so there we are we've got slow and steady and trust your intuition so for this month I will be using the uh, light seers tarot deck and I love the energy of this deck as you know it is actually my favorite deck of the moment I'm currently teaching an online Zoom course on Learn Tarot. Uh, we're using the traditional right way to learn the tarot, but I have to say that um, this deck, uh, I think has a, a lovely energy. It's based on the right way, but with very contemporary, very contemporary um, drawings, pictures too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> live with these cards today uh, very contemporary energy um, with the cards so what I will do as usual is split the cards and the first one at the center this is you and your energy with the environment around you challenge opportunity what you can let go of and what's coming towards you in June and at the center of it all oh my goodness me how absolutely beautiful is that you have got the sun card, the happiest card, the most positive card in the whole tarot deck. And uh, well, I was just talking about the sunshine, wasn't I? But just look at this burst of energy there. So I feel like this is like, you know, just if you combine it with that spark of intuition and that, you know, if you've been working towards something or now you're starting to feel, yes, I'm ready to embrace this new beginning. I'm ready to embrace some new ideas, some new ways of being. This is saying, this is you, right? This is the environment. This is you saying, this is your time. This is your energy. So grasp it. You don't need to rush. It's like if you've been, you know, it's like you've been doing a lot of work, a lot of um, things I feel, things behind the scenes. And so now is the time to, to grasp whatever opportunities are out there as we move forward into, it's still going to be uncertain times, but hopefully for many, many of us around the world, we will actually be moving forward and away from the current challenging times. And uh, how long, we don't know this is gonna last, but I would say grab it with both hands and celebrate. Look at that joyousness, that orange and yellow and, uh, well, I mean, it is just such exuberance. I, I don't think I've, I know any other sun card in any other tarot deck that fills me with so much joy and um, pleasure and uplift. Okay, what's surrounding us? Ah, the Six of Cups. Now, we had this earlier in, in another, um, I can't remember, was it February or March? Um, but this is the energy of reflecting back on childhood childhood memories um what okay i think the thing i'm getting here very strongly is what lessons are we taking from the past with us into the future there may well i mean some of the energy here can be about looking back on childhood and okay the phrase innocence of youth is coming very strongly here so if we've got this lovely uh, enthusiastic energy about ourselves if we're looking back into the past and saying, okay, well, you know, maybe, maybe along life's rugged highway, I've lost some of that childlike enthusiasm. So have a look back to that innocent child there, the dog. And you see all the things that have come forward. He's, he, this, he's, he's here in the future, sorry, in the present, taking with him the memories of the past. Maybe the same dog, maybe not, but that's not the point. It's a metaphorical dog. Uh, so do do think about in, in our environment, there is an encouraging energy to reflect on the past and to say, OK, what what bits of me have I lost touch with that uh, inner child, if you like, that I can bring forward into the future that I'm now stepping fully stepping into. Uh, you may remember a uh, card in a, in, in a um, previous reading about um, coming down off the mountain and, and moving forward but things were a bit bleak and gray there's a lot more color in this now having said that our challenge is the five of pentacles now this is very appropriate at this this is 
it's not exactly the victim one but it is a bit of the oh dear poor me it's a lack card pentacles is about prosperity about money um about um stability security and and i fear many of us will have been feeling this energy of lack over the last few months as as you know our jobs are uncertain our employment is uncertain our future is uncertain and the challenge is is to look up from this kind of oh dear you know life is not good to this lovely light shining up here on work and on opportunities now the big challenge of course here is that it may well be that the job or your life's path that you have been on is no longer the one that you can pursue now there are many many industries many jobs many work where you won't be able to do the same thing that you were doing and you're going to have to look at other opportunities and the challenge is is to move out of that feeling here into this energy look at the difference between the two you've got that lovely sun energy which is you and you mustn't let this energy replace this so one of the warnings, if you like, for, for the month of June is any time that you feel yourself going into that area of lack in your life, it's to pull yourself out of it, give yourself a shake and say, okay, life is, is I'm going to make it good. I'm going to make it as good as I can. Our opportunity, again, it's this getting out of your own head. Okay, this is, this, this energy now, this is definitely the opportunity is, Okay, it's slightly different though. This is use your head. Okay, that's the message I'm getting now. Use your head <laughs> to get out of this. So this this is really where, it, you know, I mean, it's sometimes it, things are sort of nagging at us. That's the energy I'm getting off this one now because it's in the opportunity stage. Often the five of swords, it is about um, um, a swords mental, uh, mental, distress sometimes it's not as not a big heavy serious energy like the nine or ten of swords but this is where i think if you've got things that are nagging away in your head you have now the opportunity to use this sun energy and to use this reflection time looking back on the past to get your head clear get rid of those crows pecking away in there and clear clear your mind so that you can enjoy some of the po positive things that will be coming along this month. Uh, so I think there's a very much a uh, there's there's a sort of great energy around if you can see it, if you can take it. What can you let go of? Well, it's very linked to the Five of Swords. This is the Four of Swords. Now this is this energy. It, it's of hibernation. It's of protecting yourself. Again, a lot to do with um, the mind, protecting the mind, keeping, uh, keeping safe. And the energy here is that you can let go of this. It is time to get out back into the world. Now, I'm not talking about rushing off and, you know, <laughs> forgetting all about social distancing and all of that. But the energy here is that, yes, you may well have spent some time hibernating. I know I have. I mean, hibernating in the back garden has been lovely with the sunshine. But, you know, I've not been out there doing a huge amount, but there's been a lot of thinking going on underneath and around. And when I look at this, there is a lovely, there's a heart there. And it's like, okay, what, what, what have you been thinking about in your heart? Um, maybe you've been recovering from some heartbreak. There has been an awful lot of heartbreak over the last two or three months with illnesses and people dying and, and a lot, a lot of challenges going on. But this card, I think, is more about resting the heart and protecting the heart. And it's saying, OK, you can now let go of this because you need to stand up because look at the difference. You need to stand up and embrace this energy. So she's waking up there and she's leaping around there and making the most of what is in this month because there's uh, it's eclipse season coming up now and uh, we've got some very interesting energies going on and I think it, the energy there is for those who choose to take it. What is coming towards us? Well, wouldn't that be nice? This is the Three of Wands and this is someone who's going off on a surfboard 
Well, some people will be doing that this summer. I know the beaches are opening up again and um, we're able to pursue some of those beach hobbies. But of course, the Three of Wands is about new adventures and new energies coming in. Wands is always about creativity. It's about passion. It's more about life purpose and bigger picture things, perhaps, than some of the Pentacle cards. But the energy here is that she's like standing there on the edge, ready for this adventure. She's got her surfboard with her. She's got the light. It's, it's lighting the way. And she's looking out there and saying, OK, world, I am ready for you. Where is this new adventure going to take me? So I guess that's the question to you is if you've been taking some time out over the last two or three months and thinking about the future, now is the time to start to put those plans into action. But whilst you're doing it, remember steady wins the race, slow and steady progress and you are then ready for takeoff and again very different energy from that coming down off the mountain and trudging away it's much more positive uh, so where is uh, where is your passion where is your fire going to take you in june it's looking exciting so we have now two oracle cards and i'm going to use the beautiful angels and ancestors deck here love again the energy of this deck with kyle gray so let's see god spirit the universe angels and ancestors what message do you have for us as we go into june what do we need to know say before i am a clairsentient i go with the feelings of the cards i'm not a clairvoyant i'm not predicting the future but looking at the energy the guidance the support that the cards bring us and this deck always brings great wisdom and advice so we have arrows surround yourself with protective energy love it this is a really good a positive sign of protecting yourself so that as and when anything negative comes in you have this positive energy around you now those of you who are more into the spiritual side of things you may well want to connect with um, use your angels if that's what you you use for protection you may have crystals that you protect or you may simply be wanting to look inside and say to yourself what what am i going to uh, how am i going to be protected um, how do i want to protect myself so surround yourself with protective energy so that if the negative thoughts and things come in you are there protected so that you can make the most of the sun. I'm just wondering, my microphone was inside my t-shirt. I wonder what that's done to the recording. We'll have to see at the end. Finally, finally, we're using Nature's Whispers, beautifully illustrated by Josephine Wall here, which has a lovely abundant feel to it all the oracle cards that come out are um, full of wisdom connected to nature so let's see what we have for you here okay and that's the one be in service so this one is all about serving others this one is about using your energy using all of that lovely positivity to help others now as i said before um, a lot of the readings that i do are for people light workers for people who are using that energy that positivity to help other people and this is this is a really strong message here that if you are looking there at stepping out with this lovely energy of the sun have a think about what is it that you can do in your job in your work in your life that can help others because that by doing that you are going to harness in the best possible way all the lovely energy that is surrounding you that you protect yourself from whenever you might be tempted to go into this by the external circumstances to go into this more negative feeling so that you can be ready for this new big adventure that is waiting for you in June. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Please, please do 
hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you'll get notifications when the next Tarot reading comes up. You can find me on Facebook at The Quirky Coach. And if you would like a reading, just get in touch with me. The details will be below in the box underneath the video. So until the next time, mwah, goodbye, my lovelies. Stay safe and keep smiling.